touch us. This is a quick little secret you can do if you're sitting in your office chair um, or just at home and you don't want to get down onto the mat. Okay, so first thing I'll call is just find the sit bones and find that nice neutral pelvis. You can just start to lengthen up through the sides of the waist. Think about the ribs stacked, open through the collarbones and have that little bit of a lift from the crown of the head. To start with, you're just going to gently drop your chin down to the chest and start to make those semicircles side to side through the neck. If you like, you can close your eyes down here. Good. Let's just go one more time to each side. Gently returning the neck back to centre, thumbs come onto the shoulders and big circles with the shoulders. See if you can touch the elbows in front of the chest. Take a little pause and gently change your directions here. And then gently releasing the hands down to the knees. We'll go for a little variation of cat cow. So as you inhale, you're going to open your chest forward, gaze forward, breathe out, round through the back, and use your hands on the knees to help you round the spine. Inhale, coming forward, opening through the chest. Exhale, little round. Let's just go for two more. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, gently rounding. Last one. Inhale, and exhale, round. Come back to centre and then take your right hand down to the side of the chair and take your left arm up. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, that gentle reach across. Make sure your left sit bone stays onto the chair and that you're not collapsing the chest forward. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, open the arm up. As you exhale, send the right hand across the spine. Again, throwing your left ribs up. I take one more go of that. So inhale, arms come up. As you exhale, take them across. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, go over to the side. Last time, inhale, gently bring both arms up. Breathe out to release. We're going to a nice little twist here. So for your thoracic twist, make sure the feet are together, both sit bones are on the floor. And you can either hold the back of the chair here or down below. So I'm going to take my right hand to the outside of the knees and bring my left hand to the back of the chair. I'm going to inhale, get a nice tall spine, look at that even space between the ribs. And as I breathe out, I'm going to just a little bit more over my left shoulder. Let's take a deep breath in again and grow tall and breathe out, twist. Make sure both sit bones are staying on the chair and the feet are together. One more breath. Deep breath in. And exhale, twist and lift. And you can gently release and swap it to the other side. So left hand goes to the outside of the right knee. Right hand comes to the back of the chair. Deep breath in to lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, twist and lift. Or you can take the back of your chair here as well. Deep breath in. Breathe out, twist and lift. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And then gently coming back to center. So let's start to um, work through the glutes here. So a nice little glute stretch when you're sitting. Come closest to the edge of the chair and place your left ankle over the top of the right thigh. From this position here, you're going to open up through this hip. It's just a little tip forward at the hips. So try not to round the back. You're tipping your pelvis forward, just getting that gentle stretch with your left glute. This is a really nice one to do under your desk as well. And gently releasing and we can swap sides. So right ankle goes over the top. It's that little lean forward at the hips, like you're really tipping the pelvis forward. Stay nice and wide and open through the collarbone. If this is uncomfortable and you can't bring the heel all the way up onto the thigh, you can straighten out the left leg and bring it down a little bit lower. And gently releasing, let's come up into stand. This time I'm going to come around to the back of my chair. And just go into a downward facing dog. So from here, the knees are hip width apart, knees are soft, and I'm leaning forward. And then when I back turn around, I really want to think of bringing the pelvis into neutral or even a little bit more of a forward turn. You'll get length through the spine. Just take a few slow deep breaths. You might even like to take a little wiggle through the hips side to side. One variation I'd like is to bend and straighten through the legs. Just gently. You can even take a little cat cow with the knee to upper back. So as you exhale, you're rounding through the back. Inhale, gaze in between the hands. Exhale to round. Inhale, gaze between the hands. Just take two more rounds here. Another nice thing to work through the mid to upper back is the swimming arms. So you can send the arm down, open your chest, and then bring the arm across. Don't worry too much about coordinating your breathing, just keep breathing. Really think, get your mid to upper back to open. One more each side. So this one can be done on the desk, chair, 
in the low bench top. And then from here, slowly going to roll up. We'll take a little variation of our triangle pose. So let's bring the right leg forward, left leg back. Your hips are square. You might want to um, angle that back foot. And from here, you're just going to gently lean forward over the chair. This front leg, have a soft bend through the knee. You want to think of tipping your pelvis forward here. Make sure the back doesn't round. So you might have the hands straight or just the forearms on the chair. And you should feel that down through the calf and the hamstring. You take a little variation where you take a little bend and straighten through the knee as well. You can just hold it here for another three breaths, really lengthening the right sit bone back, left hip forward. Slowly coming up, we'll swap sides, so step the left foot forward, right foot back, and we're squaring off the hips. Put that right foot out in about a 45 degree angle. Just hold forward, find a nice flat back, make sure you're not grounding. And when you may be bent, if your hamstring's a little bit tight, you can bend it even further. Just try to get that forward tip through your pelvis. Take a little bend and straighten. You can just hold it for another three breaths, thinking of lengthening through the spine. Just come out and accept the right foot forward, and you're done.